Okie dokie artichokies. Check it out. So, uh, some of y'all might be familiar with FCO chainsaws. A lot of you guys may not have a clue. Um, I know a little bit. I know that uh, they're made in Italy, or at least I, I believe they are. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Uh, and I, I am pretty sure I'm right that they're a pretty darn good saw. You know, they're just as good as Husqvarna or Steel uh, or, or Dolmar, you know. It just becomes a preference thing. At least that's what I think. Um, anyways, I will say that EFCO has never had a good stronghold on the American market. I don't know why. Um, maybe they suck. <laughs> but, you know, in theory, they're just as good of quality as anything else. Um, but uh, normally, whenever they get sold over here in the United States, seems to be. Uh, they're sold as either John Deere or Cub Cadet or something like that. Um, they're kind of like solo in, in that regard. Good saw, but just never really got a good foothold in the American market. And um, I told my wife, I, I, I mean, one thing I do know for sure is it's definitely worth what I paid for it. I got a good deal on it. Uh, but I told her about it and I was like, I'm pretty darn sure they're made in Italy. And she says, that probably means it's gonna be pretty shitty. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, whatever. I know some people like them and we're gonna give it a try. It's, uh, so it's a 6510, it's 63.4 cc's I believe. And so I was thinking that maybe this right here would be the, you know, like uh, in the same class as uh, Echo 590, Echo 620, uh, Steel 362, Husqvarna 562, all that stuff. I'm pretty sure, however, it's not. This feels heavy. I mean, like heavy, heavy. And I, it's definitely, I think, built on a 70cc chassis. Um, I don't know. So please, guys, if you guys know about this stuff, let me know. And... Uh, other than that, let's fire it up. I've, I've yet to start it. I, I saw a video of it running and I bought it from a guy that I kind of know. And so kind of, I bought from him before. Oh.
initial thoughts here we go so i feel certain that this is a 70 cc class saw that they put a smaller piston in i don't know uh i don't know for sure but this feels to me like um you know the a husqvarna uh what they call it the 365 xp um the the x torque version I don't know if it's quite as hot as the non x torque version but it might be i don't know it's all i mean it's completely stock so you know the muffler's not modern nothing it's just a brand new saw it looks like somebody got it used it for a job and then took it back to the store that's what it looks like for, to me the the chain um it's an oregon uh lgx chain and um it's it's not sharp enough i was having to push to get it through that it, it's not sh sharp enough but um uh the the bar you know clearly it's got some wear on it so it's been used but man my goodness it's 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 a nice clean nearly brand new saw so um i was originally getting it thinking that it would fit into my 60 cc class uh chainsaw shootout but i i'm i feel confident that this is not a 60 cc saw this is a 70 cc saw that has been downgraded to 63 cc's and so that it, it that does not allow it to c compete in in my competition of a 60 cc saw i believe efco's 60 cc saw was the 6100 or something Shut up, sheep. The sheep bother me. Anyways, um, right off the cuff, though, <clears throat> whew, when I think about the saw, seems to have good power, uh, seems to run good. Um, it's heavy. It's a, it's, I mean, that's got to be as heavy as my shindawa 757 which is heavier than a 372 and uh, it's only 63 cc's so that's kind of a bum deal i'm gonna go ahead and stop right now but you know it seems like it's a high quality unit shut up sheep Had to get away from this damn sheep. So anyways, yeah, it seems like it's a high quality unit. Uh, but does that mean... Does that mean that everybody should own one? Uh, I don't know. Um, It's pretty compact. I'm surprised it feels as heavy as it does because it is pretty darn compact. And uh, I just think that like, yeah, if you're gonna get this saw, might as well get, if they make a 72, 73 cc version of it, you might as well get that. What's the point in getting this? You know, I don't know. But am I happy I got it? Shoot, yeah. It's cool saw, and I bet you it's going to mod up really nicely. Uh, I do like the way it feels. Definitely like the, the red and the way it looks and everything. But I need to learn more about it. I don't know if this is a strato saw. I don't think that it is. Um, but yeah, for that little time that I spent using it, the only thing that it really told me is I definitely want to wear a, uh, a lightweight bar on it. Because, yeah, it, it feels effing heavy. And my left shoulder is effed up, you know, right now. And I'm wanting things to be as light as they possibly can be. And for a 63cc saw, this thing, it's a lot of mass to it. 
I think it's rated, I'm, I'm certain, uh, the website, I checked it out on the website, it is rated at um, 4.7 horsepower. It felt like it, it, it produced that. It felt good and strong, really nice. And yes, it is exactly as I thought it would be, which is a Husqvarna large mount bar setup. These days, pretty much the only real holdouts. Yeah, I know the Echo 590 and the Echo 620 and the Echo 4910 are still using oddball bars. But all of the new Echoes coming out are coming out with Husqvarna mounts. The big saws have a Husqvarna large mount. The little saws have a Husqvarna small mount. So everybody is getting on board and playing ball with the Husqvarna large and small mount bar patterns. These guys are no exception. Clearly that is a Husqvarna large mount. Right here is a, a Husqvarna small mount. Nope, don't work. But the large mount, yeah, that's what it is. The only buy, the only saws anymore that are truly not getting with it are steel. Steel's a lot like Sony. They like to be proprietary. You know, they like to not share and stuff. Anyways, whatever. I think the saw's all right. I just think it's heavy, and if I was going to buy one... Like if I went into a dealership, there's no way I'd pick this over the 71 plus CC. If they have one, I don't even know if they have one. Feels good though. I like it.